everybody, my name is Dan and this is DTN Design. Now, you clicked on this video and today we are building a realistic diorama of Treebeard from the movie Lord of the Rings 2 Towers. So let's get right into this build and if you could, hit subscribe, leave a comment, hit like at the end of the video. Highly appreciate it. Let's get into this build. Alright guys, so I have the box here and it has all the parts in it that I 3D printed quite a while ago. He's been hanging out in this box for a minute. I do have some other projects in that box that'll be future videos, but for now we're just going to be building Treebeard. So I just started off super gluing them, pretty simple. The whole model was printed very well and designed in very high quality and it has just a lot of detail in it, so it was definitely worth the price. I bought it at GameBody.com, not a sponsor, just saying. Um, so I went ahead, primed him, and then did a light tan wash over him, so I'm going to slowly build up uh, the layers on this tree to get the most natural look I can get going. Uh, painted some of his leaves. Uh, before doing any more washes and then created a thicker brown wash and started going over the whole model with it to get it off cracks and crevices to really bring out the detail uh, that the 3D print has in it. So after completing the wash, I went ahead and started doing a quick dry brush over the whole model uh, to start making the details pop out again because the darkness kind of brought it down. Uh, doing his eyes here as carefully as I can. Uh, they came out all right, and now using these bushes, these little bird plant things I found at uh, Hobby Lobby, I'm gonna be making his beard look a little better. It's kind of flat, just within the 3D print. Before I did that though, I added some foliage and just kind of changed up the flock, give him some more detail, uh, get a little more accurate to the movie. And after drilling a bunch of holes in his beard and then shoving up little chunks with super glue on them, I was able to create a more poppy beard, more a little bit more realistic and more movie accurate um, than what just the 3D print provided. Um, so it looked pretty good, added a little foliage into his beard, kind of represent the movie, and then a little bit of dry rushing to kind of match him a little better with uh, the rest of the wood. I did 3D print out the hobbits because you can't have tree beard without Merry and Pippin riding along. Uh, these were expensive files. I really thought about not doing them, but you really couldn't not have them. Uh, I started going ahead and making the base here, so just cutting the wood, and I had to cut two of those pieces and then glue them together to get a thicker base uh, to prevent warping and just have a more solid base for the overall model. And then that's what it looks like there. And then I went ahead and just used some of this pink insulation foam to create some rise and level and uh, create some foam rocks also for the build. Um, so here's the base, so kind of the scene where he's walking out of the forest towards um, Isengard and seeing that all the trees are burned and stuff. So with a little bit of wood glue, we go ahead and just start gluing down all that foam. Um, we'll get back to those hobbits in a second, I know I took a break from them. I primed them up and so now we're ready to paint them. Now in the process of painting, I kind of just got lost in it and didn't film it, but here they are, the two little hobbits, added them to the top. And here we go with the wood glue spreading out here, getting it ready for the base throwing down some salt uh, to get that nice texture that we want at the beginning. And then here I have some of the sticks left over, some mulch from just outside, real dirt, and some wood glue. So what I'm going to be doing is making like a kind of concoction here just to seal in the foam and spread it around with a little spatula here. Um, and that'll all dry and just make a nice hard thing and seal in the foam. I particularly hate when people don't seal the sides of the foam, so I made sure to do that too. Painted some dark brown on that, and then went ahead and started painting uh, black on where the salt is, painting the rocks as well. Um, it's coming out pretty good. This does take a lot of dry brushing, a lot of weathering. Um, so, and I also noticed like some of the salt wasn't fully stuck down, so it kind of come up as I brushed it, so I had to wait a little bit. Now going in with the pastel colors, all the bushes and everything, we're gonna add a lot more detail to this face and just try to make it look, you know, as natural and realistic as possible. Um, so, you know, I did my best to document that, but you know, like again, you get lost in the build sometimes and you kind of neglect the filming. Um, but after that, I was able to get some logs from outside, glue them to the base, do all the weathering I wanted to, and then I cut out this piece of felt, used some Super 73, uh, mounted it down onto the base, grabbed a fresh new blade, because with the felt, you really don't want to snag it or pull it, it'll really mess up. So, putting on a fresh new blade on the Xacto blade, and just doing a few light passes, let the blade do the work. Uh, the felt should eventually just fall off to the side like that and be a perfect thing. So here's the model guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. So 
that was today's build video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun putting together this Lord of the Rings Two Towers tree beer diorama. Uh, he's been sitting around a long time in my closet, so it was finally cool to put them together. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw built here today, please leave a comment below what you want to see me build next time. I'm open to any suggestions, and if you like also what you see me build, you can check out my Etsy. Some of the stuff is for sale there, so I hope you guys can check that out. And if you could please leave a like, even maybe subscribe, I'd highly appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.